Hey everyone, it's Michael here at Home Health Success Academy and you are watching our Art of War Home Health Marketing video series. And in this series, we want to be able to share with you some amazing information from the book Art of War and how you can, you can actually apply the, the learnings from this book into business and marketing for your agency. So if you're not aware, The Art of War is an amazing book that was written by Sun Chu a long time ago. I can't even tell you what year it was. And he was a strategist and a war strategist. And actually, a lot of the things that he spoke about can be applied to business and marketing. So in this particular script right here where he says, all warfare is based on deception. Hence, when we are able to attack, we must seem unable. When using our force, we must appear inactive. When we are near, we must make the enemy believe we are far away. When far away, we must make him believe we are near, right? So it's all about deception. Now, I'm not talking about deceptive practices. I'm not talking about not doing what you promised you were going to do. What we need to be able to understand is that when we are in this business, there are going to be a lot of companies out there that will start looking at us as their enemy. And we have to, in a way, run our businesses where we can actually either seem big at times, right? How do we seem big? Well, making sure that what we're doing, we are going to do, of course, but at the same time is... Most people in this industry, most potential clients will never set foot in our office. They never will. Our business is about being in the field, marketing to these potential, potential prospects. Our business is to take care of people at, their, at the comforts of their own home. Okay, So there are a lot of agencies out there that spend so much money into their office space. They want to have this amazing office. But the thing, though, is nobody really is going to see their office. So how can we appear like we're a big company? Well, our websites, right? We can reach a lot of people through our websites. We can also reach a lot of people through a variety of different social media aspects, right? If we're using Facebook, are we doing multiple blog posts? Are we doing multiple meme posts in social media? Are we putting out education-based marketing materials out there? So my agency, for example, the first agency I ran, we only had a 700-square-foot office. A 700-square-foot office is not that big. But what we made sure was that how we approached everyone was that there were going to be so much people helping them out. So a lot of the referring sources, they're only dealing with that one marketer who handles that particular area. So one way that you can actually show them that you're a big organization is this, is that when we get a referral, when we visit a new referral source, we don't allow the marketer themselves to handle that particular account. We make sure that as a company, we handle that account. How do we do that? Well, if a marketer, let's say, for example, opens up a new referral source, our DON, Director of Nursing, our administrator will follow up with them, will introduce themselves to the potential referral source, will thank them for allowing our marketer to be able to come in and talk to them. We also do one thing where everyone who works in the office, for example, we actually have a handout that we give to the referral source and it tells them the bio of everyone that works in the office. We want them to be able to meet our staff because not our whole staff can actually visit them, right? But if they know everyone that's taking care of them, they're going to feel like there's a large organization that wants to handle them. We want to also make sure that when the marketer goes out there and we finally start getting referrals from these, these people, these companies, we want them to say, hey, you know what? I have the contact number 
of the owner of the agency. I have a contact number of the administrator so that they can actually have direct contact whenever they want to be able to speak to someone. Because not always will your marketer be available to be able to be spoken to about questions. What if the question is about medical stuff? Well, guess what? They can actually speak to their director of nursing right away. They have their direct contact number. They have their direct email, their direct extension. If they have problems or questions about medical equipment, the DMEs, they can actually contact the person who's in charge of the DMEs in the office. So what we're doing is we are letting them see that we are a big organization, and which we are, because guess what? In our 700 square foot agency around that time, which eventually tripled the size because we tripled the amount of workers, but at that time is they have contact with us. Plus, an agency that may be the same size as us will have the same type of employees, a DON, an administrator, a DME person, the receptionist, the QA nurse. But what makes us different is that we allow them a opening to be able to know who they're dealing with. So a lot of companies also that are within our competition matrix, as we may call, the ones who are more, more likely competing against or the ones that we are seeing more and more within the areas that we're actually attacking, a lot of these companies are not knowing what we're doing. So there's that deception. We don't want them to know what we're doing because it doesn't really matter. Our goal is to be able to make sure that we have the referral sources knowing who we are as a company because that is what's important right there. And a lot of agencies out there that you're competing against are so worried about finding the next referral source, finding how they can improve this, improve that, when they are not even looking at you at this moment. They don't even know you exist because there's no communication between the marketers and their own staff in-house. We have a bi-weekly meeting where the marketers will come into our agencies and we'll ask them the questions, who are you seeing out there? What are the names of other agencies that you're coming across with all the time out there? Because if those agencies are the ones that we're seeing, getting into our territories, we need to be able to assess them and see, hey, what are they doing that maybe could be better than ours? What are they doing that is different from us? Are there things that we're offering that they're not? We want to be able to make sure that we set ourselves up for success and not for failure and not allowing somebody to come from behind and attack us. So business is war at times. There's a lot of people that will say that. And if you don't pay attention and who's coming from behind, can cause a lot of problems for you later on. So it's important that you allow yourselves to practice some of these principles from the art of war because it really is important. So I hope this video gives you some ideas and some tips and tricks that you guys can start applying into your organization so that you can actually assess the situation around you so you can create the success that you guys need. So once again, this is Michael from Home Health Success Academy. Check us out at 10xpatientreferrals.com. Our goal is to be able to work with agencies to give you guys success, create success, increase your referrals and your senses. If there's any question, give us a call. We look forward to talking to you guys.